my name is Jim Peterson, and I've been asked to introduce uh, Lumagen Incorporated to uh, the European audience and talk a little bit about our products. Uh, Lumagen is a company that's been uh, in business for about four years and been producing video processors for approximately three of those years. We uh, make products that are specifically designed to help optimize home theaters to the the uh, recommended standards, either the Rec 709 or the Rec 601 of the uh, um, video industry for uh, proper calibration, and we have a number of features for that. We have uh, added a number of features for the Imaging Science Foundation calibrators out there that want to have the best possible image. One of the things that we do that is unique in the industry is the 11 point parametric grayscale, and also we have color and hue offsets. Uh, many televisions have uh, not only an improper set for the color of gray, which means the black and white images are not correct, but to compensate for this incorrect setting, they actually add red and add green push to the picture to make the flesh tones and other colors look approximately correct. But that, in fact, means that there are very few correct colors, maybe even only flesh tones being correct. What we are able to do with the 11 point parametric grayscale calibration is to correct grays and then undo the incorrect uh, red push and green push so that we can make the image a lot more accurate. In addition, the Lumagen products have a, a high degree of, of other features uh, for calibration. Uh, we have um, four memories for each input. In fact, there's a, a sub-memory input for each resolution on many of the inputs. So we have up to 16 memories per input. So it can be optimized for specific settings. For example, specifically for film, or specifically for video, or specifically for daytime or nighttime viewing. In addition, we have a, a number of prop cropping options. We have uh, input levels. A lot of the levels are different between the video modes, the PC modes, and we have a lot of calibration features for that as well. We have three main products right now, and that's the video um, uh, processors for uh, the, the vision. Uh, DVI, which is our low-end product, the Vision HDP, which is our mid-range product, and our Vision Pro HDP, which is our high-end product. Uh, these products are kind of spanning the, the realm of from a plasma TV using the Vision DVI up to a high-end uh, theater installation for the Vision Pro HDP. Often the Vision Pro with VNC inputs for analog I.O., you know, is the, the optimal uh, high-end home theater product. Uh, it can have uh, up to 10 inputs. It has two DVI inputs, two SDI inputs, the SDI being the serial digital interface, uh, not as common in the U.S., but very common in Europe for having a system where you want to have the best quality out of a DVD player or other standard depth product. Well, actually, some people in Europe are using the SDI inputs. Yes, yeah. Yeah, we do have a number. We have many more people in Europe using the SDI inputs than uh, the, uh, in the U.S. because it's much more common in Europe to have that feature. Uh, we also have two SDHD analog component or RGB inputs uh, with precise calibration feature for those. In addition, we have four standard F inputs on each of the products. All the products operate the same, so when our ISF calibrators go out and, and a number of them, our ISF uh, Imaging Science Foundation calibrators actually sell our products with their calibration services because then they can get the uh, absolute best image quality going in the customer's home theater. Um, we are selling those products, have been selling them in production now for almost a year, and we are going to be introducing some new products in the near future. The Radiance HD um, X-Ray X XD is a uh, product that will be uh, coming about mid next year. It's going to use the Rialtas from Silicon Optics. That's the, um, the high end, it has the codec noise reduction, it has HD inverse telecine and HD per pixel uh, deinterlacing. That will be available approximately uh, mid-year 2006. Okay. So how about Europe? Are you supposed to, to go and visit us during the next ISE? Okay. Uh, we are going to be at the ISE and uh, myself or one of the um, Lumagen employees will probably be there. Uh, Uva Sperling will be there and actually uh, manning the booth for sure at the ISE um, conference. So we're looking forward to see you there. Thank you Jim for your time and please enjoy the cruise the same way as we do. Thank you Thank so much. You.